chances are within your app you're going to have some form of a spinner and there is one that is built into react native called the activity indicator so let's take a look we start off with an empty react native application with just some demo text currently being shown on screen and we bring in the activity indicator component provided by react native now let's render this component right above the text component that we are currently rendering within our app. And you can see that the activity indicator has a very native feel for the different platforms that it is targeting. Now this component supports a few core props. So let's take a look at those. The first one is animating, which of course is default to true, but we can also set it to false and that will actually hide the activity indicator and we don't see it anymore. However, it is still taking the space on screen. It is not the same as conditional rendering. That is, if we completely do not render this particular component, you can see that the text shifts up because there was an invisible activity indicator right above the text with animating false. And if you bring the component back, you can see that the text now shifts down. So instead of conditionally rendering the component, pass the condition to the animating prop to prevent layout shifts. Now another property worth looking at with the activity indicator is the color property. You can see that the color is different on the different platforms by default. It is a shade of gray on iOS and the system accent color on Android. So the color property allows us to provide a consistent color for the different platforms. For example, hey, we have gone with a nice shade of blue. Alternatively, we can try some other value as well. For example, a nice shade of red. Now, as you might have noticed, the activity indicator is quite small. And that's actually a good thing. It means that you can use it in most places, for example, embedded within principles. But the activity indicator does take a size prop that allows you to change this. The default value, of course, is small. And the other value that we can provide is large, which bumps up the size of the activity indicator, as you can see on screen. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more quality tutorials like this. And I will see you in the next one.